this is something interesting I noticed. I've got the meter hooked up across the uh, stereo light here. You see right there. Anyway, check this out. All right, I mean, some stations are better at this than others. That's right at about two and a half volts, by the way. Um, one thing I noticed when I was looking at this PC board is I was looking at the capacitors I had replaced. And I noticed that I was missing C22. It's not on this PC board. There's a resistor here. Actually, it's oriented like this. There's a resistor installed. Uh, where are we here? Hold on. Right, right up here. That resistor is there, but it's in this slot. In this slot, is there's nothing connected across it. Now, I don't know if this is a factory mod to drop the capacitor out or what. It's basically a uh, bypass cap right here, the emitter bypass cap. So this would tend, I mean, not having this cap in here would tend to uh, create negative feedback and uh, because as the signal draws through this resistor, or through this transistor, the voltage across this uh, would increase as the current goes through it. Increasing this biases the transistor, which tends to turn it off. So it's sort of like, you know, the, the bigger the signal, the the lower the gain of the transistor. This capacitor bypasses those AC signals, so it keeps more constant bias on the transistor. Typically, you'll do this to increase the gain of a uh, of a setup. So for some reason, the gain's been reduced on this. This transistor seems to be tied into the pilot signal detection circuitry. It's right over here. Yeah, you know, I get my light on it. You'll see a little bit better what I'm talking about. I've got a. Let's see if you can see it. See, see that big green cap? And then there's a resistor, and there's an open slot there. And what's funny is there's like little nubs of a cap that was, that was once there. And it was clipped off. Very strange. I'm not sure what's going on. Um factory mod to put it in, they clip it out. Why was it, why is the resistor in the wrong slot? Is that just a schematic error on how it shows here? I mean it's they're side by side, so it wouldn't really matter if they were swapped. But so you ask, big deal Dave, what, what's what's the concern? Well here's the concern. Keep an eye on this. Okay now I see how it bounces around just a little bit. On stronger FM stations it doesn't do that. It locks in more solidly. But we will take a cap now let's see if there's any more movement no more movement I'd like, to, I'd like to get some music going again see if the modulation of the music has anything to do with it okay, I'm very careful, you don't have to take my word for it I have to be careful here because I don't want to like influence the antenna signal to it either causing a stronger signal so I'm just going to go over here now unclip that one lead try not to touch anything else ready here we go and gone out you see it jumping around a little bit not in coincidentally it's jumping around with the modulation of the song which I've seen it before on a pilot signal kind of jumps around as the uh, as the frequency modulation takes place but you see it's jumping around now and that correlates basically to a, a, a stereo uh, light, indicator light, that fluctuates a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to hook it right back up again. I'm going to go right back over here. Let's see if I can do this all in one step. Ready? And I've got it on now. What do you think? Should I put it back in there? <laughs> yeah, the answer to that would be yes. So, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know what's going on. It looked like the leads have been clipped. I went back and double-checked my earlier videos, make sure I hadn't clipped something out and forgotten about it. No, it was never there from day one, but there was definitely some leads clipped in there. I'll show you that, a little bit better view of that right now, so you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn this thing off, because I don't like to take jumpers on and off with power applied. I'll take this out of the way here now. And let me get my light on it. You see what better I'm talking about. 
All right, can you see that? Well, let me see if I can make this come out better. There. See those little nubs right? There's definitely a nub there. There's definitely a little nubbins right there. And let me see if I can just kind of feel that. Let's see if I can kind of pick at it. There's definitely something there. Let me check this side here. Yeah. I'm getting hung up there. So there was something there and it was clipped out. Hmm. Now the only other thing I noticed that I didn't catch the first time was I have a little cap in here. I think that says I think it's a 10 at 20 volts. And that's kind of scary to me. I mean that's a very different kind of cap than what was in here before. It wasn't one of those tall vertical black ones. It might be perfectly okay but again then again it might not so I think as long as I'm going in here I'm going to go ahead and replace that one cap and I might as well go ahead and replace that unfortunately my um, I can't really test it for leakage because it's too low a voltage for my tester I suppose I could check to make sure the capacitance is there still there and I can kind of do a leak test with the uh, volt ohm meter really I mean it's such a low voltage of the the resistance, the voltage inside this thing is probably enough to test for leakage. But anyway, I'll probably end up replacing that too. And all this is just coming around to, you know, I'm always chronically fighting good um, pilot signals because some, some of those stations I try to get are kind of far away and I just like to get the stereo. And if you know how that works, you know, the if you don't get a good pilot tone, you kind of hear a hiss in the background. But we're going to, and you can switch the stereo off, but you don't have any stereo. But anyway, I'll put this cap in there. And we'll go with it. The only other thing that's weird is I, it's a 1UF cap, and all I have is a, uh, I think this is a 10. I should probably use the right value cap. I don't know if it really makes that much of a, di much of a difference in a cathode bypass. I mean, you basically, uh, going too big can't hurt because it's tied into the frequency of the pilot tone and all that kind of good stuff, so... A larger cap won't really help it and it won't really hurt it. It just doesn't need it. Anyway, more later.